Oh, thank God it restores. Cool. Well, thankfully you have an idea what to do. Um, and this time, we are going to have 100% less dying. Yes, I know it's intended to roast its victims alive. Oh, God. Oh, this is indeed irritating. I may have to come back once this is solved, guys. I don't know, because now I'm really getting irritated. Ooh, no, 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 don't push that panel, push that panel. There you go. Aha. You can't fool me, Eric. Almost there. Aha! A trap blows open in the ceiling, blowing in a current of cold air. Oh, sweet, sweet option. Now you wonder how you're going to get up there. Oh. Maybe... A cable hook? Aha! I see what it wants. Yes, I know! Attach to... Rope. Yes, grapple up there. Whee! And go, go, go! I don't want to die! <sighs> God damn, Eric! Oh! KSC, who is it? Is someone there? Help me! That's very much H.R. Geiger. Christine, is that you? Raul, yes, it is I. Oh, help me. That monster may return at any moment. The door is locked. Where is the key? Raul, don't leave me here, please. The lock is somehow activated musically. Huh. Let's sit on the organ. No, I want to sit in this chair. Let's see what happens. Wait, no. Wait. I probably should save before I even think of sitting in the chair. It might be booby-trapped or something. So, this isn't very spooky music for the man Phantom's Lair. Huh. You are immediately fascinated and repulsed by what is apparently the Phantom's living quarters. You have never seen decor like this before. H.R. <coughs> Geiger! It seems as if it were designed and created by someone or something not quite human. The entire room gives you a most disconcerting sensation. Let's sit on this bench. Oh no! I was right! You get the distinct feeling someone is watching you. Uh, let's get off of it. That's creepy. Let's look at this organ. No, let me look at the organ. The dominating feature of the room is a pipe organ unlike any you have ever seen. It appears to have been made from the bones of human skeletons, repainted and rebuilt to form what is literally an organ from hell. The 88 pipes extend to the ceiling, and the full-sized keyboard is actually made from other skeletal parts. As something of a musician yourself, you feel an urge to sit at the organ and play something, if only to hear what the unearthly thing sounds like. Can I take this chair? You attempt to take the large chair, but quickly deduce that this action would be a waste of your valuable time and energy. No! Fine. We can sit on this organ bench. Some sort of musical code. You see four pieces of sheet music on top of the organ. Since you took piano lessons as a child, you can just barely sight read the music. Which piece you wish to attempt? Oh! Oh! I bet it's supposed to be the piece of music that Jacques told us about. And I think it was this one. We'll soon find out. Oh, that is a cool freaking organ. Yay! Why does it sound like a panpipe? Eric, your organ's out of tune! Oh, Christine! I hope to God this doesn't trap me. Ugh! Oh, help me in here! Um, when did this become Call of Cthulhu again? Christine, my lord, Christine, what is this? Some sort of coffin? I'll find your way out get, to get you out. Don't worry, darling. Phantom's bedroom continues the bizarre, surreal decor of the previous room. 
The room is down here by a large sarcophagus and an unearthly totem pole. You wouldn't want to sleep here, not in a million years. Let me look at this totem. The totem pole, for lack of a better description, is completely incomprehensible to you. What kind of madman would erect such a hideous artifact in his own bedroom? What does it mean? And that heart in the middle, it can't be real yet. It appears as if it is filled with blood. You feel the bile begin to rise in your throat until you manage to force yourself to calm down. Yes, you think, you are truly dealing with a madman. Hmm. Can I, uh, attack the sarcophagus? Realize it's been a long day and you're not making much sense. Okay. It's covered by a transparent lid. Can I look at Christine? Christine is a bit disheveled and frightened, but she's in one piece. So I obviously need something. Yes. This girl seems to attach to some kind of spring. Push. Uh, push skull. Oh, these are all some sort of code. Oh, there's a keyhole inside of the nose. So I need to find some sort of key, I guess. Hang on. Covers the Phantom's toilet area. Okay, why? Why would you include that in a game? I don't get it. Somehow I don't remember the Phantom's lair being quite this creepy. Can I push this skull? That skull is not made for pushing. What's the difference between one skull and the other skull? I guess some are made for pushing, some are not. Can I go through this door? The door is locked tight. Can I, is it the key to sit in this chair? Somebody is watching me. It's made of human skin and bones apparently, but it's very comfortable. Raul, you creep me out. Okay, I guess next time on Let's Play Return of the Phantom, we continue walking around his HR Geiger-esque lair. And, uh, I guess try to find some way to save Christine. Next time on Return of the Phantom. What am I saying? Ignore me. Oh, we have a key here. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I have to end the video on that note.